Ah, oh, so good. Guys, welcome to First Coast Living, everyone. On a Monday, you kind of, when you listen to that song, you think, you wish it were Sunday. You kind of, if you could choose, wouldn't you pick a Saturday or a Friday night? You know? I think, <laughs> I think that song is where Sunday Fun Day came in because Sunday there's a line Fun there. Day. She says, "Sunday is my Fun Day." There it is. And then Manic Monday. Then you had, Monday, you had quite a Manic Monday. Work. Good to see everybody. I'm Casey DeSantis. I'm Curtis Dvorak, and yeah, of course, it's it's another Manic Monday. But you also know what what today is. Everybody, when they flip May 1st. that calendar, it's May first. But this is what it is because everyone remembers this song from the In Sync. Yeah, fame. everybody remembers this. Okay. Oh yeah, In Sync. Huge song, it's going to be May, but the way Justin says it in the song is it's going to be May. So there's a bunch of memes popping up all over the internet, and it's actually pretty funny. Dave, it's, it's going to be May. You remember that song? <laughs> I see. Okay, so every, it's, the, the words are, it's going to be me, but with this, it's, people think it's yeah, May. It's the so way they're having fun with it on social media. Well, because the way he sang the song, everybody, everybody remembers singing that song and, going, and saying it that way. The meme has come out in the last couple of years, and it's pretty funny. People play it, obviously, every May 1st. In sync, even Lance Bass has said they're, uh, he tweeted out that they're going to enjoy their favorite holiday. But they've actually received, they're getting more hits on YouTube every May 1st now for the last two <laughs> the years. The sales are increasing because of the way he said May. Me, sales, May. From memes, because memes. of social media. Social media, it's so powerful. People are on social media are also talking about what happened on ABC this morning. And uh. this was just about an hour before we came on the air. It was the start of a new era, a paradigm for Kelly Ripa and her new morning show talk host. If Whatever. you didn't get to see who that was, here's what happened about an hour ago. Okay. This is it. Is your mic on? Don't answer me. I'm so excited for you. Are you nervous? Don't be nervous. You look great. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Now, here are Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest. You were so close. If you're, if you're wondering. You were so close. I mean, good for them. Good for them. You made it to the top five. Happy, happy for you, happy for Ryan. Yeah. Um, Seems but like they'll be know, a great combo. Yeah, they'll they'll be great. Yeah, like he needs another job. Like he has he has twenty five. <laughs> yeah, all the great. Whoever his agent is, he's like doubled the salary. I mean, seriously. The guy does a good job. He gets him some good. Uh, I know that you were a little disappointed because Curtis this morning said he put in his application and you know it didn't I, quite go where he wanted it to go. But I, you know that's just the way life rolls sometimes. I just, I just thought I'd get a call back. I didn't get the first call, but I thought I'd get a call back at least, at least. At least something. Well, there's always the next co-host if they go through the uh, I would have at least, trauma. I wouldn't have done like Michael. I would have at least told you that I was leaving That's, instead I of just you show that. up one day and I'm not and here. I'm but not here. Yeah, Ryan, he's taking, you, you take every single great gig in the business, Ryan. Thanks. So well, whatever. Who knows? Um, you got a good one going for you right now because you can opine on things like draft day, oh. which by the way, <laughs> is now over. <laughs> That's, That's right. the big Thank news of the day. It's over. Finally. Thankfully. Thankfully, the draft is over because it still blows my mind that people watch this. Uh, but it's kind of fun, even though for people like me who have no idea what's going on, you just like the music and the chimes and when the commissioner comes out and... You know, they, they announced. Makes you feel like football season. It is. It's, that's what it is. It's football season. We talked about the first round pick, uh, Leonard Fournette. We told you about him on Friday, and that's great. But here's the other picks Cam Robinson, he's a huge offensive tackle out of uh, Alabama. Dwayne Smoot, uh, big, big pick for the, the Jags as well. People liking him. But the other one that is getting a lot of attention is Day Day Westbrook, that fourth round pick. Day Day Westbrook is a wide receiver uh, out of Oklahoma. He was graded as possibly late first round, early second round until the off the field issues. He was, he's had some really bad off the field issues. You can look it up and, and see it. Um, the charges were dropped. The Jaguars came out and said, we feel like that's behind him. Um, however, the Jaguars history in drafting wide receivers with checkered pass or off field issues hasn't been well. We've had RJ Soward way back in the day. It, that didn't work out too well. We were told coming in that he shouldn't draft him. Uh, Matt Jones, that one didn't go so well. Reggie Williams, he at least caught some touchdowns one year, but that one didn't go so great. And of course, Justin Blackman. Okay, well, so let's that hope. was a third time is a charm, but we got to go past that. <laughs> yeah. So, so in this fifth, okay. Let's hope that his off the field issues are yeah. uh, behind him and aren't obviously anything, but it's, uh, it's pretty horrible if, if it's even remotely. Just, well, to be, just to be arrested we'll just, twice. Listen, you, you said the charges were dropped. Charges were dropped. So but then, then let's move on. So let's move on. Let's see what happens with the season. And as we said a couple of days ago when the draft started chance. on Thursday, somebody has to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. So there you go. Someone has to go to the top. Could be us. It, it's always that possibility. Mm. Uh, so from the <laughs> NFL, 
Now to the PGA Tour. It's not football tour. season. It's, it's golf season. It's not. It is golf season. It's the height of golf season. So if you're watching over the weekend and you happen to watch the Zurich Classic, which is going on in New Orleans, you probably saw something like this. People were going nuts thinking, what in the world is he doing? This is what, Kevin Kraft? Yeah, yeah. He's hitting out of a fairway bunker and there's a gator just kind of hanging out. He's a good 25 feet away. So you say it's perspective of the camera. It is. It makes it look like he's right there. Yeah. And so he, it, but he wasn't phased at all, hit a great shot. I think he was a layup. I don't know. We kind of cut the video after that because we don't want to see where it lands. We want to see the gator. Yeah, they, they keep, they, <laughs> well, they, the, they, the commentators talked about it a little bit, but yeah, perspective wise, that gator is, he's a good 20, 25 feet in front of him. So Curtis is of the mind that you don't need to move for this guy. No. However, do you remember last year, this was in what, Buffalo Creek? What this one I moved. The golf course in Florida where when you see something like this next video, yeah, this, this is when you move. This one you get when out of the way. When you see a gator that's not that big, but you see one that's that big. Yeah, yeah, that that that's a dinosaur. <laughs> that's not Those are a looking gator. around on Florida golf courses. So anyway, this we we'll keep building golf courses in their in their habitat, so they're going to be around. So he's just you know traversing across the green, taking his merely little time. But when you see something like that, that's when you you either do an unplayable lie or you just gently back away and let the guy just go, and then you resume play once you know he's a good like few football feet fields down the yeah, road. Yeah, you could do the Homer Simpson meme where you're just like, okay, and then watch this. <laughs> Back into the bushes. <laughs> Disappear. There you we go. have fun with the virtual set. We're just now learning what we can and can't do. And I think the uh, the, the the managing director who's standing over there says it's something that you don't do. You don't go yeah. off into oblivion. Sorry, don't tell me not to do something. Okay. Yes, as we've learned with him and the Jaguars. Um, yeah. Cat. Speaking of cats, my former big cat yes. self. I couldn't even do this in the suit. But this cat. <laughs> look at this do. stuff. Are you kidding me? Oh, you could have. You're pretty talented in that thing. Look at this. This Dice, is a, this cards. Is, also taking the internet by storm and nobody seems to know where it came from other than it appeared on Chinese social media. It's Moggy the cat. The cat can balance anything like dice, beer cans, a, a, cards. A playing cards. I mean, I, I got to see the cat move to know if this cat is real. That is the most zened out, comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> with How? peace with nature cat I've ever seen in my I life. I want to get I want to get those dice and see if 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 you can balance those dice for that long probably like, not because you have to do it like on a finger because that's basically kind of how he's yeah he's just kind of just taking it in and and you know my thing is is at what point in time does an owner realize that they can do that with their cat and you know you have apparently a lot of free time on your hands to then do this to see you know, I have Heineken. Let's see if I can balance it on my cat's foot. Oh, look, I can. I think it's <laughs> Let's probably. Let's put it on social media. I think it's probably the multiple Heinekens he had that gave him the idea <laughs> oh, to start balancing oh, stuff. That's what because it, was. it happens in college. The guy who passes out, they gets the beer cans piled up on top of him. You this, never would have done that to anybody. No, we did. We we barricaded our RA. You know, your dorm, the, the dorm monitor. We didn't want him to stop our party, so we barricaded his door <laughs> in with beer cans. So when he opened his door, they would collapse. We knew he was coming. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Seems like something straight out of Animal House, right? Which fraternity were you in? None. I was a GDI. <laughs> yeah. It stands for not okay, not a, never not mind. In Maybe a fraternity. <laughs> when I see like the director. Yeah, it stands for not in a fraternity. Okay, so from cats. <laughs> so from cats to April hey, the giraffe. April the, he April didn't want to put it in the show, so he said, why not? Let's put it back in the show because there is an announcement with this cute little thing that we could look at every single day on the show. More news More with the giraffe. April the giraffe, the calf, now has a name. So Finally, I guess it was the winner because there was a vote. So people at home could pay a dollar and vote for what they wanted the name to be. And Alyssa's Choice won. And people are like, what in the world was Alyssa's Choice? Well, I guess Alyssa was the name of the handler of the little baby giraffe. And I guess that person chose Taj. Taj, which, which is short, uh, for short for Tajiri. Tajiri. Tajiri, uh, which means hope Taj. in Swahili. And the New York Zoo had been running the contest. Anyway, it's really cool. I actually, uh, after learning that she, had to, she was the keeper in there all the time, she should get to, to name that baby. Uh, April fifteenth. All 15th. the proceeds, right, went to the zoo. It's, I mean, you want to yeah. talk about great marketing strategy? They had, you know, this sponsored the live webcam by Toys, Toys R, Us. R Us. They had people tuning in by the hundreds of thousands, and then they were able to raise a lot of money, going right back to the animals with this dollar vote. I will say this: yes. she, uh, April's April's captage was born April fifteenth, weighed one hundred and twenty nine pounds, and stood five feet nine inches tall, which is actually shorter than the the last giraffe born, baby giraffe born at our zoo that I helped uh, with its first neonatal thing was six foot and 170 pounds. Oh, wow. It's a big one. Yeah, we have those right in our backyard. Yeah, yeah, you can go see real live giraffes at our zoo, which is amazing, or you can stare at your monitor. Well, when you can't be at the zoo, zoo, this is a close second. True, and my sister Robin up in, in D.C. watching right now, she stares at the, have you watched the eagle 
Nest Cam. Oh no, there's a new one. Oh, the Eagle Nest Cam has been around for the last year, so every time oh, these, okay. these it's not so bald new. <laughs> eagles. No, no. Every time these bald Sorry. eagles. Well, how long have those eggs been in the nest? I think they've done it a couple times. Okay. And actually this one, I think this last one was right here in our area. They won't tell you where because you don't want people bothering, right, but a bald right, eagle right. nest and they have a camera on it and they keep and my sister watches it nonstop waiting for this thing to hatch. Oh yeah, I yeah. get it. I get it, Robin. I'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> That's of course you would be, you know. They're cute. All right. Speaking they of are cute, cute stuff. Speaking of cute, it's pepperazzi time. This is one of our favorite segments on the show because that's when you get to send in your cute, adorable photo of your four-legged furry friend. This is good stuff. Favorite, favorite segment. There's Watson in our newsroom hanging out in the control room. Destiny Johnson added him to the gallery. Oh, that's so cute. I brought to Bunker and Bogey here on Friday. That was, uh, that was an adventure. <laughs> there's Tobias. Oh, look at Tobias. How cute. That, now that is one happy puppy. That's in the jo sunshine, hanging out outdoors. Josh Brangenberg life. sent that in. Appreciate you sending those in. And, and the cat would get along great. Here we go. There's my boys. There's oh, my boys. Broom there Bloom. they are. Out on the beach. They love the beach. That's both of them. Big smiles on their faces. They love the beach. Which one's which? Point them out. Blue is the, that's Brew. Okay. And that's, that's my lovely wife, Jasmine. Brew that's is, uh, that's him in the waiting room. Hold this shot up. This is funny. So he went to the, the, the groomer to get his nails trimmed. If you look at what he's sitting on, it's a magazine. You think, oh, okay. No, that's a table because... <laughs> Brew, Blue went in first. Brew doesn't like to get his nails trimmed because he got nicked one time. Like, oh, and so he is, he's scared of it. And so he runs and jumps up on the table into uh, Yaz's lap. And, and that's his face looking because he can hear his brother in the room. And so it's, so it's, it's sad. Waiting, but, he did, but he did get his nails trimmed. He, and they never, they don't do anything. They don't hurt him. But, but every time no, they touch his nail, I know, but he screams. It's, but some dogs, Bunker's like that. Bogey doesn't care. Bunker, you touch your nail, mm, she has, squeak. But they're not quicking them. Quicking means, you know, you get yeah. the skin, you know, you trim it too short. It doesn't happen. You just, it's the thought. It's yep. what scares PTSD. He got, he got hit one time. And so now every time they touch his paw to trim his nails, he, he freaks out. But we want you to send in uh, all of your pics of your pets because we want to add those and we'll give you shout outs here. Tag them, tag them on social media. Uh, Pet Parazzi Photo Gallery is brought to you by Affiliated Veterinary Specialists. And check out avspethospitals.com to learn more yeah. about caring for your so pet. So we can bring you more of those fun photos. Okay, coming up here on First Coast Living, summer there is we almost go. here. Summer camp time. I miss summer camp. It's so much fun. It brings back nostalgic, nostalgic things that you used to do as a kid. Well, the good folks with 4-H are going to be here, and they're going to be talking about how your kids can pass the time. It's coming up next. We'll be right back.